here uh, in the final battle because of the persistent of the eighth is persistent in the resistant in the battle they destroyed the persian ships disheartened the circus he returned to persia without any victory this is the a persian that is great victory over persian next i am going to tell about democracy in the hellenic greece in the democracy in the hellenic greece when the greek that is city state first emerged it the rulers of the emerged the rulers of the came from the lines of the traditional chief towns here are rich ruling families they grow rich by the expansion of the trade the age of the terrans which starts from the 4th century to 6th century uh, which proved to the period of the urban development in the sense uh, there was no more buildings and the enormous temples has been uh, built for example olympian jews in athens by this i have completed the um, that is greece in the hellenic greece and uh, democracy in the hellenic greece now i'll be going to teach athenian democracy in athens in the athens the pressure from the below resulted in the replacement of oligarchy and also the tyrants by the democracy here the law making power is vested uh, in the assembly uh, it is free to open to all free men and judges and also the lawyer uh, persons that is lawyer officials and here um, it has been vested there are that is um, there are enormous development the city with more buildings and also with the more temples and stadiums and this has been developed in the democracy even the, that is in the athens this is uh, happened in the athenian democracy even though uh, the persian uh, danger united that uh, greek peoples and uh, that danger has been removed once again the athenian people started to quarrel once again there was a continuous struggle that is can happen the between the land owners and against the democracy these person the rich land owners they always uh, resisted uh, and uh, resisted the poor people who considered democracy was against the ruling of the mob here uh, democracy means literally it is the rule of the people it means it uh, which excluded slaves women and also the non resident which is known as the metics now uh, even though uh, in uh, athens uh, democracy is uh, survived according in this situations there it survived for 200 years in athens now i will be going to tell about pericles um in athens it has been uh, pericles has been a great leader uh, of the athens he always fighting with the sparta there was a continuous war this war is known as the peloponnesian war even though despite of uh, uh, so much resistant and so much fight against with the sparta the athens became a noble city with magnificent buildings there were a great artists and also great thinkers are there so this this period is uh, called as a age of pericles here the socrates and uh, now the athenian government did not like a socrates who was always fighting away for the truth uh, so they find socrates in the trial guilty that is uh, who came to uh, accuse him to refuse to accept the god and also corrupting the youth so here what happened the the senators they find the guilty among the socrates so they condemned him to die by drinking the hemlock which means poison this has happened in the athens next i'll be going to tell about the beginning of the hellenistic civilization that is beginning of the hellenistic civilization in the beginning of the hellenistic civilization the greek city states did not have an elaborate bureaucracy so therefore they want able show to show their greater dynamism alexander the great under alexander the great the greeks were able to show uh, establish a new kingdom in macedonia and this uh, greek empire annexed two more empires egypt and also the middle east Uh, under uh, alexander the entire period of his reign was spent on the war itself uh, 
um, there are the cultural development after the death of the Alexander uh, in the 323 BC. This period is known as the cultural, that is Hellenistic civilization. The Greek school of science, mathematics, and also the philosophy reached its peak, uh, that is in the period of uh, Greek, Egyptian, of the Alexandria. There are some famous persons in the Greek, that is Euclid, that is he founded the theorem of geometry, Eratosthenes. Uh, he founded the diameter of the diameter of the earth, Hippocrates, that is Hippocrates, that is he was the founder of the trigonometry. Pacholini, he was uh, founded the model of the motion of the planet and also the stars. Now I will be going to tell about the class, that is class word between the Patricians and the Pebblians. Before that I want to tell about some thing about the Rome, the Hellenistic world. Rome was a society which was full of the agriculturists. They came from the lineages or through the lineages of the traditional ruling party. Roman people has been divided into two classes. One is uh, patricians, rich landlords. Another one is the pebblians, that is the uh, common people. Now, I want to tell about uh, where the Roman is located. That is, uh, Rome is located uh, strategically, that is, uh, uh, crisscrossing, uh, cutting of the uh, between north and south and east and west. So, the taxes has been added for the trade route along with the revenue from the agriculturist. In the late 6th century, the prosperous, uh, that is, uh, Rome became a prosperous city. Now, I uh, will go ahead and explain about the class war between patricians and pebblians. The prisoners of the war enslaved in Rome. Thus, Rome produced, that is, a more labor force to the rich for exploiting them. So, here, uh, the Rome population has been increased. They, there are so many slaves in the Rome. Uh, it has been increased around 1st century 2 million Rome populations. Landowners, uh, they exploited the slaves uh, to cultivate in their estates. About, um, there are 3.2 million in the total strength in the Rome of the people. The slaves alone uh, are calculated as a 2 million persons. This is the position of the slaves in the Rome. Here the patricians and pebblians, the both of them voiced in the favor of the poor peasants. Though the uh, Tiberius, that is Gracchus and Galius Gracchus, though he was a patrician, he voiced in the favor of the um, poor peasants. So these poor peasants supported for the development of the, uh, that is uh, supported for their programs. Senators looked at their development and they so murdered these Greco brothers. The martyrdom of these brothers which transformed the Roman Empire, the Republic into the Roman Empire. The slave persons was the, the source of the income to the uh, Rome was the slave trade. Uh, the island of the Delos was the important place for the slave as a considered as a slave market. By this I am completing the uh, transfer of the power from that is patricians and pebblians. Now I will be going to tell about transfer of the power from consuls to emperor. The Marius uh, became consuls with the help of the equities. He made an attempt to push the uh, distribution of the land or was in the senate. Um, the allies were killed, the Marius allies were killed. This led to the violence. The followers of the Mar Marius and also the Sulla has been fought at the civil war. In this war, the Marius has been uh, died and the Sulla became a virtual dictator for three years. And here, after the uh, person that is Sulla has been expelled, is uh, it has been he has been succeeded by Chinna and Catalina. There was a more uh, slave revolt in the uh, Rome than in the Greece. Here, there was the important, one of the famous revolt was the revolt of Spartacus. Here, more than 70,000 uh, of the slaves has been participated in this uh, revolt. It has been conducted in 73 BC. Here, uh, after this, in this revolt, Spartacus has been crushed and the revolt become endured. Here, uh, 6,000 of his 
polyus has been uh, um, transferred to another basis. This is about the revolt of the Spartacus. Next, I'll be going to explain about establishment of the Principate. The civil war was the social issues ended by replacing the civil wars by the generals. General in the sense, I want to tell few the generals. That is, Marius and Chinna was against the Sulla. Pompey is against Julius Caesar. Brutus and the Cassius was against the Mark Antony. And again, Octavian is against the Mark Antony. The rich, old and poor, these all, they founded, that is, made Octavian, uh, that is now called Augustus, uh, as the established as the de, de facto monarchy and re-established as a cultural, that is, political stability. The period starting from the Augustus is known as the period of Principate. Is known as the period of Principate. He, Augustus called himself as Imperator, which means Emperor. Now, I am going to tell about society under Principate. Um, during, the, during the period of a Principate, during the period of a principate, there was an uh, uh, resulted in the replacement of oligarchy and also the tyranny under the republic. Here this has happened, the period which has the luxury goods. I mean luxury goods in the sense of uh, wool, silk and also the gems. And uh, in this, uh, the lawmaking is vested in the hands uh, with the uh, other ruling classes. And here, the city has been bound by built with so many new facilities like theater, stadium, many museums, colosseum, and also gymnasium, which has been built in the um, Rome. Here, after this, the Rome become one of the prosperous. Now, I'll be going to tell about some of the things about society under the Principate. In Rome, the rich people distracted the attention of the poor people by arranging the uh, games and also the circus. They appointed gladiators to fight each other and uh, kill each other. Uh, there are most distinguished writers uh, in the Augustan age. For example, Pliny the Elder. He completed the Encyclopedia of Science, which is called as a natural science. And here, Sneha, uh, Horace, Livy are uh, some of the best uh, writers in this age. Now, I'll be going to tell about the Empire building in East Asia, I mean China. Wangqing was a ruler of China. He was popularly known as Shi Yuan Ti. He entered a warring states in China. He also crushed all the local rulers and he founded a strong central government. There are the peasantry, that is peasantry uprising has been occurred often and which collapsed the, uh, that is the fall of that, yeah, that is collapsed the Qing dynasty in China. And the trade route has been established between China to the Asia Minor and India which is known as the Silk Route or Silk Road. Uh, through this, uh, the goods and ideas and civilization has been exchanged between Rome and China. And also the China received Buddhism from India through this Silk Road. Now I will be going to tell about the Han Dynasty, uh, that is expansion of uh, that is Chinese territories, Han Dynasty. The Han Dynasty, the leader of the Han Dynasty was Liu Pang. Uh, he was, uh, that is, he flourished uh, its rule for 400 years. Its uh, ruler was Yu Ti. And uh, here, uh, its capital was Chengan. Here, the followers of the Yu Ti, they crushed uh, the Huns in the north and sent from the north China. And they opened uh, their trade route. Uh, and so from that, they exported the silk uh, all over the Roman Empire in the north. The traders and also the herders, they brought in new techniques and uh, for the uh, building the new, for the building bridges and mountain roads and also the seafaring in the China. And uh, what happened means, uh, they also brought along with this, through this the Han dynasty became prosperous. Uh, by this, 
uh, in the north side china here uh, buddhism has been uh, brought to china from india and it later it was uh, went to korea and later it was again went to japan this is by this and the buddhism has been sent and so that the buddhist art and the architecture has been spread all over there from india after a brief period of after the that is in the days of christianity after a brief period in the days of the david and solomon jews people experienced extreme hardship so they hoped a messiah would come and restore their uh, that is happiness initially they laid hopes on the jesus because uh, jesus uh, did not like rich and hypocrites he condemned the ceremonials and also the observance so the people uh, supported the jews this was not liked by the uh, priest so he was uh, and jesus was uh, handed over to the roman governor pontius pilate uh, jesus was uh, tried and he was crushed after the jesus crucifixion Uh, Saint uh, Paul has uh, uh, become the leader and started to spread Christianity gradually. The Roman people did not like uh, the Christianity to spread. Uh, he had the beginning, but uh, Saint Paul started gradually to spread the Christian uh, principles, that is, the uh, doctrines. Uh, these people, uh, at last, the Roman people started to uh, tolerate. the spreading of the christianity but christian peoples uh, they did not uh, like the image of the roman emperor uh, because of the as a political pressure uh, at last they did not succeed <coughs> for the success of the spread of the christianity in the rome because uh, one of the uh, emperor of the rome uh, constantine he also converted into christian which helped to make the christian that is christianity is one of the religion in the rome last i'll be going to tell about byzantium the byzantium emperors who ruled constantinople for about 1000 years called themselves as romans the official language was greek there here there was one that is the constantinople has been built with luxurious royal palace and also it's with the libraries and its scholars and also fascinating saint sophia cathedral in the um, rome this is a thing happened in the byzantium here uh, saint sophia cathedral which has been built in the 6th mid of the 6th century uh, this is a magnificent building in europe Oh, which has been built with the advanced architectural uh, techniques here your cathedral has been changed into a mosque when it has been occupied by ottoman turks from from the constantinople by this i am completing this uh, fifth lesson the classic world